simplify the following expressions, write all answers without negative exponents. Exercise A has 285 x to the 43rd y to the negative eighth z to the zero power. All right, one of our rules for exponents tells us that for any variable not equal to zero, if I raise something to the zero power, I get one. So as long as our base is not zero, if I take the base to the zero power, the result is one. So assuming x is not zero, y is not zero, and z is not zero, 285 x to the 43rd y to the negative eighth times z all raised to the zero power is one. So that's nice. All right, five g to the second h to the negative fourth to the negative second times three g to the negative first h to the second. All right, so here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to raise everything to the, the appropriate powers. I would have five to the negative second. I would have g to the second to the negative second. Multiplying exponents, I would have g to the negative fourth. h to the negative fourth to the negative second, that's h to the positive eighth. Then I would have three to the second. I would have g to the negative second power and h to the positive second power. Let's rearrange and regroup some stuff here. So I've got that 5 to the negative second. Well, that's the same as 1 over 5 to the second. And then I've got the 3 to the second here. And then I would have g to the negative fourth, g to the negative second. I would have h to the eighth, h to the second. So that's 1 25th times 9 times g to the adding exponents negative sixth times h to the adding exponents, tenth. So I have one twenty-fifth times nine times one over g to the sixth times h to the tenth. And simplifying that, you know, thinking of that nine as a nine over one, I would have nine h to the tenth over twenty-five g to the sixth. All right, exercise C. I will simplify on the inside first. 30, negative 30 over negative 12. Well, a negative over a negative is positive. 30 over 12, I can reduce by 6 to 5 over 2. So I have 5 halves. I would have j to the 2 minus negative 5. That's j to the 7th. And I would add k to the negative 2 minus 4, so that's negative 6. And that's raised to the negative third. So I have 5 halves to the negative third. I have j to the negative 21st power. And I have k to the 18th power. Now. One thing about what happens if you take a fraction, a, simple, a nice numeric fraction, and raise it to a, a negative power, if I have x over y to the negative mth power, I can rewrite that as y over x to the positive mth power. So I'm going to write that as 2 fifths to the third. And, and here I've got a 1 over j to the 21st. And I still have the k to the 18th. Now 2 to the third is 8. 5 to the third is 125. And then I would have a k to the 18th in the numerator and a j to the 21st in the denominator.